Hello everybody, Brittany Carmichael here, bringing you your Woo Woo Wednesday weekly tarot reading. I'm so excited to be here. The energy is crazy this week. I'm sure you guys are starting to feel that. We've got a lot of retrogrades going on, so a lot of releasing, reviewing, slowing down, going inside, and taking an inventory of what our emotions are doing, what's trying to come to the surface to be released, and how we can best let go of that energy so that we can invite the new when these retrogrades are over we're going to be picking up speed and taking and moving like momentum towards the next chapter towards the next adventure so this week's energy for me personally and I could have been my lady time too but personally this week's energy has been wild so I want to know let's tune in really quick how has your week gone so far is the energy high is the energy low is the energy crazy what's going on for you leave a comment below let me know who's here. Say hello. I'm so excited to connect with you live today. I've grabbed my Archangel Power Tarot deck from Doreen Virtue. I love this deck. It's my tried and true. It always has very clear, precise messages on what we need to know, what's going on, what's the energy. So I can't wait to dive in. Hello, Rachel. Better than last week, but still a bit crazy and frustrating. Yes, it's so important to honor the cycle of energy. It's okay when things are crazy. It's okay when emotions are high. We just have to recognize it, give ourselves a break, slow down, and ask our emotions, what do you need right now? And most likely, if they're arising from the depths, they want to be released. So go easy on yourself during the retrograde time. And just in general, Hello, Miriam. Hello, Dana. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hello, Haley. I feel like everyone who's here live is from a different country right now. This is incredible. Thank you so much for joining me. I love being able to use technology to connect with other like-minded soul sisters here, knowing that we are not alone on our journey, that we have the support, the sisterhood, the family, the friends that we need to help us during this time. Gwen says, woo woo, crazy up and down roller coaster energy here. Susan says, hello. Yes, tune into your energy. Ask, take a, mo take a moment. Give yourself this moment. Breathe in. And let it out. Slow down. These Woo Woo Wednesdays are to bring you present into the moment, to bring you here, to take you out of whatever's going on in your mind and the crazy energy in your life, to tune in within and ask your soul, what do I need right now? How am I feeling? What's going on for me? So take a moment. Just tune in. Take a, take a mental scan. Take a deep breath in, all the way in, and bring that breath all the way down to your toes. Breathe it in and feel it. Just take over your body and just scan. Is there anywhere where I'm holding tension, stress, or tightness? And if you notice a spot where you're seizing up, where you're holding on, just take another deep breath in, direct that breath into the place that holds tension. Let's start with our shoulders. Let's breathe in the air into our shoulders. So hold it, feel it, feel it, feel it, and then Ooh, relax it. Let your shoulders go loose and limp. Now, let's do that one more time through the back. Now, breathe in. And then let your back relax. Just shake out your neck. Shake out your shoulders. Just take a moment. I kind of feel like everyone's like <laughs> tight. So let's use our breath and our energy to move the healing light that is available to us uh, with our breath. So our tool, the tool, the most powerful tool we have, not our mind, but our breath, because if we are not breathing, we're dead. So use your breath to create healing in your body. Send the, the prana that's in the air into those places that are tight and holding tension, and it will naturally begin to release and let go. So just keep focusing on your breathing during this reading. I feel like we just need to get present and breathe consciously and to use the energy uh, consciously and move that through the places where we're holding tension. So keep breathing deep inhales and then exhale all the BS, all the drama that ha you've gathered uh, this week so far. Uh, and while you're breathing consciously, while you're releasing the stress and letting out the energy, I'm going to shuffle with the intention that everyone watching here receives the message that they most need for this moment so that we can be aware of what's going on energetically. And the way this works for everyone is that you tune into your own thoughts, feelings, imaginations, and visualizations and trust whatever comes up for you. So as I read the cards and share the meanings, I want you to trust your own intuitive vibes, how you can apply that in your own 
own life, and this will give you the guidance and clarity you most need at this time. So I shuffle for three cards, and I just wait for them to pop up like that one. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to see what comes up. The, the, like I said, the emotions have been all over the place. Just honor it. Slow down. Take a bath. <laughs> take a breathing break. <laughs> I've always said this, I truly believe people that still smoke cigarettes, even after knowing they can kill you, um, it's not the cigarette that they're addicted to, but it's the five minutes of actual breathing that they're enjoying. Now, they're breathing toxic crap into their lungs, so I don't get that part, but it is taking that five to ten minutes to step away from whatever you're doing, work, creating, whatever that might be. Step out of your house if you're working at home or if you're a stay-at-home mom. Get out of your house. Go breathe for five to ten minutes in a new location to change and shift the energy. And if you're still smoking, ask yourself why. All right, the first card that comes up is the Ace of Gabriel. This is all about new creative inspiration, insights, and ideas. This card says a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, and a sense of wonder. This card is a great card that, ins that inspires those flashes of inspiration, that those sparks of genius where you're like, I just had a great idea. I've got to go do that. This card is saying be open. You have to quiet down your mind so that you can receive those sparks of inspiration and flashes of insight. So again, breathing, relaxing, walking, meditating, we've got to tap into a more relaxed vibe so that we can hear our gentle divine guidance. This is going to come as a spark of inspiration. You're going to be very clear on what it is. You're going to be guided to take the next action step towards creating that passion job or putting your purpose into the world, right? So know that when you get that divine, like, oh, that's such a good idea, where did that come from? Trust it and follow it. Don't just allow it to fall away because if you've ever read Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, she tells you that creativity is an energy that's looking for different conduits to manifest and be the channel of that expression. And if you close down your channel and you're like, yeah, it's a good idea, but I don't have time or I don't know, I'm afraid, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be good at that, then that inspiration will find someone else. So if you get a divine spark, flash of inspiration, take action. Just ask, what is the next step I can take right now? You don't have to know the whole plan, just one step at a time. This says um, the chance to do something amazing. All of us are coming to a collective close, closure where we're saying, okay, we're closing the chapters from you know 2017 in the past, and we're beginning to write a new future, one that entails what we actually want, our true desires, and it's moving in a direction that allows our passion to come out. So many of us have committed to the nine to five job that supports you, but what we're finding is that if we don't have joy in our day-to-day -day activities, then the then is there actually support, maybe financially, but if you take a moment to recognize that that is not the most important thing in life, I, like I've said many, many weeks in a row, joy is the new currency. So as we commit to cultivating joy, abundance will follow. Hello, Jade. Hello, Brooksy. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of the love and light you girls share in here. So the next card, ooh, such a good card. These cards actually have all come up for me this week, so I, I find it to be a pretty clear message. Um, number 11, strength. This is such a beautiful card of courage and kindness and grace and compassion. This says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. So as we see the Ace of Gabriel offering us new opportunities to embrace a new future, one that exudes passion and inspiration and creativity, the strength card comes right behind it to say you have everything you need within you to accomplish those dreams. You have the strength, the determination, the courage, the kindness, the grace, all of the qualities that you need to be a strong force in this world. You have within you, all you have to do is say, I know that I am capable, have the confidence to commit to taking that next step in a new direction. Let me just stop real quick and say, you're gonna be traveling in a new direction, you're gonna have fear come up. You're gonna have like emotions come up that are like, I don't know if I can do this, I'm not good enough, whatever. Recognize the emotions, 
ask yourself, can I use this for positive momentum or is this an old habitual pattern or an old thought mindset that is just coming up? And like I said, we're in retrograde, so you have time to review those thoughts and feelings that come up, any fears or thoughts of in inadequacy. As they arise during the next few weeks, just notice them and recognize that you can forgive and heal and release the past, that just because things have happened one way in the past does not mean they're going to continue in the future. Your brain seems to think that it will always be the same. It always compares it back to the past experience. But you have the knowledge now within you to recognize that you've learned the lesson and you can choose again. So know that the power lies in your choice, not in, don't put your power in the fear, put your power in the choice towards the direction you wanna be going. Rachel says, does that apply to fears of relationships too or more job stuff? Honey, fear is fear is fear and it's all made up. So it doesn't matter if you're applying it to a relationship, to a job, to yourself, to other people. If a fear is arising, then there is, it's a sign, it's a signal to show you that something isn't right, something's off. The mind is thinking in the wrong way. And I don't like to use the word right and wrong, but I, that's like the words I have to describe it. So um, when, we, when we're talking about right-minded thinking, we're talking about coming from a confident place of courage, love, compassion, joy, kindness, all of these spiritual qualities. When we're talking about wrong-minded thinking, we're talking about coming from a place of fear, lack, uh, I'm not good enough, whatever the case may be. So we have to switch into the mindset that says, I know that I'm capable of receiving the love that I deserve. And honey, if you're in, if you're in the lack of relationship, if you're not receiving love from the external, then it's because you're not giving it to yourself first. So take a moment to give yourself the love that you seek because that is what is going to fulfill you. All the external love is just icing on the cake, but honey, you are the cake. So give yourself the love and everyone else will reflect that same energy to you. And I'm excited that we're going to be working in our mastermind coming up in May together. So I just want to take a moment to publicly say thank you for joining the mastermind. All right, the final card, this is exactly perfect. This is about getting more education, Eight of Ariel. So we've got Ace of Gabriel, new fla flashes of inspiration to take to take a step into the into a new direction of your passion, of your purpose, knowing that you have the chance to do amazing things because you have the strength to do that. You were put here to do your great work, so know that you have everything you need to make that happen. And then with the eight of Ariel coming up, this says this is, take great pride in your excellent work. Be proud of everything that you've done and created. Practice makes perfect, and consider getting additional education or training. So just as I said, we are transitioning, we're, we're, we're moving into a new direction where the past is over, we recognize, we take the lessons that we've learned, the growth that we've learned. Since we're in retrograde, just take a moment, reflect on how far you've come for over the last year, five years, 10 years. How different are you today than you were yesterday, five years, 10 years ago? Give yourself a pat on the back and celebrate the progress that you've made for coming this far. And this eight of Ariel is saying, so you're changing directions. You've learned some things and now you're gonna start something new. And when we start something new, fear kicks in because we're like, it's fear of the unknown. I don't know if I'm gonna be good enough. And let me just tell you, you're probably gonna suck in the beginning and that's okay because you're starting something new. You have to learn it. You have to get additional education. When I, I mean, I've been a hairdresser for half my life and I was like, I'm called to do something else. I need to start shifting gears. I had to take a lot of training and I read a lot of books and I practiced a lot of tarot reading on myself and then other people started asking. So know that as you shift into a new direction towards your passion, towards your life purpose, that you're going to have fear come up of, I'm not good enough. What if I don't know enough? And let me tell you, you're gonna keep learning. You're always gonna learn something new. Even in the hair industry, after over a decade of working, I learn something every single day. So never get to, you'll never get to the point where you're like, I know it all. Well, your ego might, but you never, there's always more to learn. There's always room for growth. So just recognize that as you start something new, don't beat yourself up about it. You're going to suck in the beginning. Like my first hair, I've always, I always tell you guys this, my first haircuts were embarrassing, but I had to practice. And because I let go of the fear of not being good enough or not knowing what to do, 
you know, I can do it with my eyes closed now. So just keep practicing. Practice makes proficient, not perfect, because it's constantly evolving. And who's to say what is perfect? Hello, Jessica. Thank you so much for joining. Brianna says, this is so appropriate for me at the moment. I have had so much fear come up today. Yeah, let's just take a moment, like fear inventory. What is the biggest fear that is like in the way for you right now? Like, okay, I'm afraid to try something new. I'm afraid to leave the job I'm in. I'm afraid to leave the relationship I'm in. What is that overall fear? A, a fear of a lack of abundance, fear of being unlovable. Whatever it is, all of these fears boil down to the same thing. And when we get to the root of it, it's all about believing in ourselves, loving the hell out of ourselves, and just expressing who we are and our unique differences in the world, and everything else will take care of itself. Yep, leave the job I'm in. That is what Dana says she is afraid of. But here's the thing. I've mentioned this before. I'll continue to say it again. The only true freedom is working for yourself. If we're going to be in careers, if we're going to have a business to make money and we're not just going to enjoy life, right, like flow through hippie style, then you have to you have to begin to think of how can I put my creative gifts and services into the world so that I can make the best difference in other, you know, like a difference in other people's lives because I'm so passionate about it. People are drawn to authentic passion. People are drawn to, um, I think just coming down, boiling down to the word authentic. When you're so passionate and you love what you do, people can feel that. People want that. And so I invite you to pick something that you're passionate about. And whatever you invest your passion and energy into, the universe is going to bring you through law of attraction the exact amount of abundance that you're putting out into the world. So if you're going to a, a safe, secure, nine-to-five job, but you're miserable for those so many hours, you're putting out miserable miserable energy into the world, whether you, whether you realize it or not. So know that if you woke up and committed to doing what you love, what lights you up and brings you so much joy, that the universe is going to respond and bring you more of that. Anne says, girl, I missed the start. Happy Wednesday. Jade says, people love real people. Yes, be yourself because everyone else is already taken, right? Oscar Wilde, thank you for that quote. People love when people are raw, real, vulnerable. And like I've said before, true strength is having the courage to be vulnerable and to say, you know what? That was hard for me or that really sucked. But you know what? I learned from it. I'm stronger and wiser because of it today. And now I'm in a position to share that story or to share that message with someone who else might need it. Know that by you putting out your passion, your creativity, and just sharing your story of where you've been, what you've learned, who you are, uh, you have the power to change someone's life and you can make it easier for them. And I know this is true for you because you wouldn't be drawn and attracted to this video or to just even me because this is what I'm here to do. And if you are here watching, you are a part of that. You are here to awaken and inspire others to their greatness. So don't get in your own way because you have the ability to one, have the most fun of your life, and two, make it easier for somebody else. And I know that when I'm being of service to someone, it feels really good. So I know that everyone wanting to put out their passion and creativity in the world is to help somebody, whether it be through you know your creative expression, maybe you're a photographer, you're helping someone capture their beauty by taking their photos, and that's something that lights you up. But so many people are like, oh, I'll never, I'll never make enough money doing that. I could, that could never be my full time career. And I just want to be the one to say that ain't true because I've made myself a career out of photography, out of hair, out of life coaching, out of being a psychic medium. You are going to have so many different channels and avenues of things that light you up and that bring you joy. And it's not gonna be the same as it was five years ago. So know that whatever you commit to today will definitely evolve and change. So pick one passion today and in 10 years pick another passion and five years pick another passion and just commit to that and ride the wave of excitement and energy as it comes and then when you're done with it, 
take what you've learned and apply it to the next job or the next passion that you that you have had i not been in uh, the hairdressing field for over a decade i wouldn't know so intimately how women think and feel about themselves had i not spent the time behind the chair learning about women and learning about myself i wouldn't be here today sharing the message that beauty begins within and that loving yourself is the best and ultimate freedom you will ever create in your life so know that whatever you do today will serve you uh, and your wisdom along the way and it will change you'll you'll be different one day I woke up as a hairdresser and today I woke up talking to dead people so you know it just things change it's never the same um, lol the same as Amber Amber says so what if you don't know what your passion is or what you love does that sound crazy no like I said I've spent over a decade in the salon asking every single person that sits in my chair what are you passionate about not what do you do whatever I ask what are you passionate about and most women didn't have an answer because for so long we've been told what to do how to do it when to do it and we've been told that we can't live a life that brings us joy that we have to go grind it out at this nine to five work for someone else and I'm here to tell you that that is BS you can do anything you want in the world and you can get paid for it so if you don't know what your passion is or if you don't know what you love then I highly 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 recommend you take time out to figure that out things like crafting and making beautiful handmade thank you cards that's something that I love to do I could turn it into a job but that's not something that's calling me so your purpose in life is to do what lights you up and only you can figure that out so take time to cut out carve space in your life take a weekend to take everything off your to-do list and go okay I'm just gonna do things that really are fun for me I love to cook I love to sing I love to hike I love to craft I love to do my makeup like whatever that is for you start doing things that just are joyful for you that you lose time whenever you commit to doing it I know when I bust out my crafts and supplies and sparkles and glitter and stuff I lose time I could be doing it for hours so this is gonna help to guide you to what it is that lights you up to your purpose your purpose is to fucking love life and to have fun there's no like my purpose is to be the president of the United States like you have free will you can do anything and choose anything your soul laid out a path and said if you want to commit to your highest will here are some here are here are some guideposts that you know along your path that you can follow but you can choose to change at any time but when you some when you surrender and say I'm committing to my highest path and purpose my soul knows what I'm here to do and I release and surrender to whatever that may be then things will start to unfold for you but what's most important now if you don't know your passion or you're not sure what your purpose is recognize that your purpose is to have fun your purpose is to bring joy your purpose is to be in love because this is the energy that you if you're feeling that energy in your body moment to moment then you're projecting it out into the world and that's creating more goodness uh, and more abundance because like I said when you when you're vibing really high with love and excitement and creativity and passion you're putting that out into the world law of attraction is going to bring it back to you but like I said if you've been committed to this crappy job for so many years and you're just it's a habit for you and you're just stuck in it then that same energy is going to draw more of that so if you're starting to feel burnt out if you're starting to feel miserable and it's starting to weigh really heavy on you it's because you've shown up every single day over the course of however long with kind of a negative mindset or an attitude about it that's like I don't like this I don't want to be here and so this energy is happening to show you it's time to change it's time to pull the plug and go do something different um, okay let's see Jade says you have to find yourself first think back to when you were a kid absolutely what did you love to do when you were a kid that will help to guide you to the things that light up your inner child Casey says hey pretty girl I'm so ready to hear this hello Casey thank you for joining me Amber says I need a vacation so glad I am not alone thank you Brittany I feel lost and I'm trying to be patient with myself this is the most important part patience with yourself so that you can balance when energy is coming in and all this inspiration and action energy arrives you can use it and ride the wave and go for it but when that starts to subside slow down take a step back go for a walk take a vacation close out everyone get off social media go take a 
three hour bath, whatever you need to recharge and reconnect with your spirit so that when you get back to that place of connection, you're able to hear the guidance on what will you have me do next? What is the next step? We are not meant to go, 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 go 100% of the time. It is, a, it's an ebb and flow. It's when you have a bunch of energy, harness it, use it, focus it, channel it, be creative. And when you run out of energy, you start to feel tired and drained. You've given too much. Have the courage, have the strength to say, I need a break, boundaries. I need to step back and I need to take care of myself. I saw a mom just like that and I have to say, I was just about to say, on Easter I wanted to go so bad, I was planning on going and my body just said, no, you cannot do this, you have to stay home. I took a three hour nap and I woke up feeling more refreshed and rejuvenated than I had all week because I had the courage to say no when I needed to. Even though it was hard to make that choice, you have to still put yourself first. When your energy is low, you have to give to yourself and go easy on yourself. Be patient. You're not here to perform at 100% 24-7. Just as we sleep every single night, the body, nature is showing you that there's a time to be up and alive and moving and not, not alive, but you know what I mean, using your energy and taking action and then you take rest and you go to sleep. So it's the same even during the day. Put forth the effort when you have it and the energy and when you're running low on energy, slow down, take a break and relax. Retrograde is the perfect time to do so and to, to review how far you've come and to review the progress that you've made and also to revise your plans on what you need to do to move forward. So this is definitely a crazy shifting energy week, but the, the, the message is that you have everything you need within you. You have the strength and yes, you do need that additional education. So don't allow fear of not being good enough or not knowing enough to stop you moving into the next direction because it, every, every time we change and we do something new, we have, to, we have to learn it. We had to learn to tie our shoes. We had to learn to walk. We had to learn to talk, to eat. But we don't even think about these things because we've been doing them for so long. And that will be true for you when time passes. In hindsight, you look back at the time you started something new and you're like, oh, I was so bad at that. It's, because, it's how I can laugh at myself and be like, ooh, my first haircuts were bad, my bad. Sorry about that. And I have, no, there's no, you know, no problem. I don't beat myself up. I'm not like, oh God, I was bad. Ugh. Like I just look back and I'm like, yep, mm -hmm, that was a part of my learning. That was a part of my growth. And had I, had I allowed fear to stop me from trying, I wouldn't be in the successful position I am as a hairdresser. So it's that courageous, um, <sighs> determination to just keep going towards the thing that is, excites you when you get when you wake up in the morning what excites you follow that curiosity and you'll never be let down I won't say it's easy but <laughs> all right guys I think that wraps it up for the energy reading for this week and it sounds like we're kind of all in the same boat that's rocking back and forth so just know that ebb and flow t time to go time to relax just be in tune with your body by breathing into it and going what do i need right now where am i holding stress what's going on for me take time to tune in and you'll never be let down because your soul is always rooting for you and so am i so if there's anything i can help you with along your journey if you have any questions about your spiritual transformation about bringing your creative gifts into the world whatever it may be shoot me a message leave it in the comments, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm here to help you and I love answering any of your questions. I also want to say thank you to everyone who does reach out and share their story with me because I'm tr truly touched and blessed by every single story that comes through, especially when I hear about the crazy synchronicities that are happening in your life, just to confirm that you're on the right path. Jade says, thank you for being awesome. Thank you for being you because all, that's all we can do, right? So I'll be me, you be you, and together we will make this world shine and sparkle because we have that magic and we have the ability. So know that you are needed in this world, that your gifts are important and highly needed, and your gifts are your loving ability. The more you can love yourself, the more you can love others, and that is what matters. Not money, not fame, none of that. When you, I literally have it written on my arm, right? It says love is watching someone die. And it can be taken a many, many, many different layers. But when I think about this quote from a Death Camp for Cutie song, 
The quote says, who's going to be there watching you when you die? Who's going to stand over your bed? Who's going to be there to support you? Know that love is the one that's watching over you. The people that surround you love you and they are with you. And the other part of this meaning and why I got it is love was watching that old version of me die. It was watching the me that wasn't me fall away and wash away so that my soul, who I really am, could emerge. So know that love is constantly guiding you. And when you have the fear of change, know that it's okay because all life is always changing. It will never be the same. Thanks for the heart, mom. I love you so much. Gwen says, thanks a million, Brittany. Sweet dreams, sisters. Thank you for staying up for Woo Woo. I know so many of you are in different countries and different time zones, so I really do appreciate everyone who makes a commitment to showing up and being here. And really, it's about being with your soul and taking time to tune in to your energy and what you need most. So go give your soul whatever it's calling for, and you will you will be thanking yourself next week for it. Go take a walk, go take a bath, go quit that job. <laughs> Just go do whatever your soul has been asking you to do and you'll feel that relief from pressure or stress that might be building up. Like I said, I could feel everyone holding it up in their body. So right before we go, we'll do one more last breathing technique to let all the energy go. So breathe in with me. Hold it and then allow all of your body to relax. Just get loose and limp. It feels so good, and you have the power to heal yourself. You can do this on your own. Just use your breath. Be conscious of bringing that energy into the body and then pushing out all the energy that needs to be released. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll be with you guys live on Friday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time for the Elevated Life series, where my husband Chris and I answer any questions you have about making those radical transformations in your life. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys later. Have a great week. Go easy on yourself. The energy's wild. It's okay. Just slow down and take time to be present with your soul and ask your inner child, what do you need right now to feel joy? and then go do that. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Love you, love you, love you. Bye, Mom. <laughs>